So at last I'm back. I've been away on holidays in Florida. I'm now back on it. I'm gonna get stuck right in. Hopefully I'm gonna start getting videos out once a week. Um, I'm gonna get this whole front end off. Um, I've welded up all the other bits and pieces which I'm gonna now gonna show you. Uh, finished all that off because I ran out of gas in the last video. Um, and that's what I'm gonna do. Um, we're gonna get involved. Let's go, I'm gonna show you. So, so there we go. We've got this, I don't know if you remember when I've done the rear rear um actual brackets i use this jig i made up i've used this to bolt across here to keep it all strengthened up at the front end so when i take these chassis legs off um hopefully very very soon um but yeah we've all done this i've welded all this bit down here um i forgot to do these in the last video which i done at the end of the last one so i've welded all these bits in here both sides all them bits in all the bits everywhere is done now that's all completely strong and hopefully it won't go anywhere so um that's the plan i've kept this bar here i'm going to keep this bar here uh, i'm going to leave that in there because i think that's going to um, obviously help it anyway that's been there all that time so um yeah what i'm going to have to do is come down here and cut some of this floor out to get to this um, lower cross member inside um i'm probably gonna have to rub some of this back um get some of this paint off and get where the spot welds are and I think it's really pretty much gonna um, fall apart anyway, to be honest. But yeah, once I get the legs out, I can start rebuilding this bit here and sum this up here um, before the legs go back on. But I'm not worried about that at the moment. We're gonna get the, all the chassis legs off, get all this um, lower cross member off down here. Um, but this is the plan. So what I'm gonna do now is start drill, drilling all these spot welds out with my little um, spot weld drill bits, which are, Pretty awesome. So um, as you can see there, I've done some before down there, which doesn't matter about this. We'll see. It, it depends on what it was like. We might, I might end up cutting them off, cutting them all out, but we'll see. Um, I want to try and get it sort of drilled out really. That's probably the better option. I don't really want to be cutting that about, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. But this bit here, down here, um, I'm going to see how good this bit is. I might be able to rebuild this. These bits, I mean, I think they are quite hard to get hold of, the 16 valve ones. Um, if not, I'll get someone to make me one. Um, I don't fancy making that. I haven't really got the gear to make that, but um, I think it's mainly them sort of brackets here. As you can see here, they're quite rotten on here and in there. But um, anyway, um, I brought some bits and pieces, bought some new flappy disks. Um, they haven't got no name on them, but they're, they seem decent actually, you really be really pleased with them, got them from eBay. Um, the white ones I've been using, but I got these for the same price and I actually got 20 instead of 10. So I'm pretty happy with them. They are actually quite good, especially for the price. I think they're about a tenner, just under a tenner. And I've got these, so I've got I've got no excuse for cracking on, haven't I? So I've just got to get on with it now. Um, these are B4 when I rub all the old primer off, which I've already put on there to um, put all the epoxy primer on and um, yeah so so they keep talking I'm gonna crack on let's go come on
So what I was doing for these bits here, drill these out. That's what I was showing you in the video. Um, I was drilling these bits off because I wanted to keep this in shape as much as I could, but obviously up there is quite rusty, uh, which I'll replace that bit in there. Um, I'll replace all this once I've got the front panel back on and I can do all this bit and rebuild this cool edge. Um, so I went a great start. So I, my drill snapped. And as you can see there, there's actually, um, there's actually skin on there. Um, I've just um, snapped the drill bit and it's gone from my hand. So uh, yeah, as you can see there, brilliant. So not the best of starts. So I'll get this bandage up and I can crack on, but yeah, not great. It was a bit of blood. It was quite a bit of blood there, but I wanted to stop it. So anyway, I'll get that bandage up and we'll, um, what I'm gonna do now is get cut this here, cut this right off this front bit because I don't need the shaft eggs anymore. So if I am going to try and replace probably these little brackets here. So I think they're quite rusty up here. Um, place them. I'll see if I can get hold of some of them and then rebuild this bottom bit. I think that's pretty solid, that bit. So, and obviously this bit, I'll get all this, get these bits sandblasted and uh, sorted out. But yeah, we'll get this bandage up and then we'll come back and get this chopped off.
So I managed to get all these all drilled out here, all the way around here and inside, I've already shown you. Um, this is now parted from the inner wing. Um, now what I've got to do now is drill out these spot welds on this lower cross member. Um, I haven't gone to town and cut the whole thing away because I wanted to try and keep it in fairly good shape. Um, I didn't want to start bending all the metal away and stuff and getting all out of shape. So what I am going to do is stuff like this here, where it's joined here, I've probably drilled them out. It's just cut down here to separate the chassis leg from the inner, inner, inner seal. Um, then I'll just worry about that after getting that all off um, afterwards. But these are the mission now. In here there's quite a few uh, spot welds in there. Um, I think it's about six, seven or eight, probably eight on each side to separate the lower cross member. So I'm gonna do that now. And also probably cut, cut here, cut most of this bit out and uh, just to make it easier. Then hopefully that will all come out pretty much after I've taken all these, these bits off. Um, yeah, that's the plan, so I'm going to do it now, drill them out and hopefully I'll be able to separate the uh, cross member and the legs from the car. So that's the plan, let's go. So this is where we are, all these drilled out at the bottom here. I've cut these floor pans. So when that all comes out, this is all attached to the uh, lower cross member. Um, as you see, it's quite rotten down there. Um, so that should all come out in one big bit with the legs. So all this bit here, all these legs that go down inside and this bit and the lower cross member should all come out in one big bit. So. Um, Hopefully I can wiggle it out there somewhere. But um, so I'll get all these off next, get all these bits off, unbolt all these, all but unbolt all the points, and then I'll get all this out before the next video. But for now, that is uh, that's how far I'm going to go. So that is the end of the video. We've just got a little update there to show you where I am with the car. Um, so next time I'll get all the chassis legs off and the front cross member off before the next one, and then we'll start repairing all the bits that need doing. And go from there so thanks for coming back like and subscribe get yourself involved and i'll see you next time